YouTubers, Charles Roy here, and uh, today we're going to work on um, how to key a green screen. So what you see here is footage from uh, a music video that me and my friend uh, Ricky Rafe did. Uh, the background wasn't actually the background inside the music video, but I just did this for the purposes for the tutorial. Uh, so let's get right to it. Here's our video file. We have, uh, it's titled Test Footage, and it has a green screen, and the color is a little too light. So what we need to do is we're going to have to do a, a bunch of different things to kind of manipulate um, the color uh, and uh, the green screen um, to really actually key it out pretty well. So first thing we need to do is drop our footage into our timeline by uh, creating a new composition. If you drag the footage over top of the new composition icon, it will automatically create a composition based on the settings of that video file or picture file, uh, whichever the case may be. Uh, so first thing we have here is our test footage. So now we need to actually um, do three things in order to um, successfully key out Ricky out of the green screen. The first thing is we need to create a, or add an exposure drop to the color in the video. Uh, second thing we need to do is actually key out the green screen. And the third thing we need to do is add a refine mat. So first, first item is uh, exposure. Go here to your effects presets and type in exposure and it's right here. Click this, drag it over top of your footage and what we're going to do is drop the gamma correction to 0.8. Press enter. You see it dropped down the uh, skin tones a little bit, made the shirt a little darker and now the green is a, it's a nice solid green for us to actually key out and not have to worry about losing some of the skin tone. Uh, so now we want to type in uh, key light. And there we go, key light 1.2. Drop that over top of the footage. Um, and everything's going to be done in layers, so we want to do the exposure first. Um, that way the key light doesn't get altered by the exposure. Uh, Alright, so we're going to want to um, select the green in the background. So by selecting the eyedropper and screen color, you can pick a green. So I want to, I want to pick a green right around here. So now we see the green disappeared, um, but we're not done. Uh, as you can see, there's some little spaces in here, little white spots, gray spots. There's the white line around Ricky's body, um, and that just makes it look really tacky and cheesy. And that's why most, um, you know, editors online on YouTube or on Vimeo or wherever they are making videos uh, fail because um, you can clearly see that it was done on a green screen because they don't get rid of the harsh edges uh, like they should. So what we need to do is uh, go to our view change the final result to screen mat and now you can see clearly there's a lot of white spots here a little bit of white spots up here white spots down here uh, we're going to take our screen gain and go up to 110 and that pretty much gets rid of all of that down here there's a little bit but it's not too bad uh, we're going to get rid of that actually with a refine mat so let's uh, minimize this go here and type in refine mat. There we go, it pops up already. Drop that over top of our footage and we gotta open up key light again so you can see the footage uh, clearly. Go to final result and um, there you go, you see there's not too many white edges anymore. It's a little bit, uh, but we're gonna get rid of that in just a moment. Uh, but it's a lot easier now, it's not gonna be as difficult as it was before because it looked you know, really tacky then. So. Go to your feather and uh, bring it up to 50%, and there, it's gone. Um, and get rid of motion blur as well. All right, so now we're going to get rid of motion blur because um, whenever um, your subject moves uh, very abruptly or uh, really quickly um, and you don't have motion blur on your camera um, or however you record it, it creates a sort of a smudging, liquefying effect that doesn't really look too good, and it's hard to get rid of once you've already gotten it into your footage. So if you just unclick Motion Blur, uh, you'll be fine. Um, and so now what we got to do is create our background. Um, I'm going to create a solid. I'm going to Layer, New, Solid. Um, just title it Background. It doesn't matter what color it is. It's just, it's just going to be there for filler. Um, and then we're going to go to our Effects and Presets and type in Ramp. Now, ramp is just another word for gradient. It's just how After Effects titles it. Um, but it allows you to, A, you can use it for color correction like we did in our last video for color grading. Um, or you can just use it for a simple background effect or an overlay effect um, for other type of backgrounds. Just It's a really neat effect that just adds an extra dimension to whatever you're trying to do. 
So we need to turn into a uh, radial ramp by clicking ramp shape and click radial ramp. And this will be like a, a circular ramp. So we're going to drop the y-axis on the start down to 360. That's going to take us right to the middle of the composition. And drop the end ramp to, I want to say, 1000. All right. Now we got to pick our start color. It's going to be a nice little red, a light red. That way our end color can be a darker red. Right around here. That's not too bad, actually. That looks just about perfect. Just about how I had it before. Bring it down here. And then boom. We just keyed out Ricky in a green screen and put a background back there. You could put whatever kind of background you want. You could put a building, a picture, uh, a texture, uh, some kind of 3D objects, whatever you have already created and want to you know, merge inside with this video, you can do that. Simple piece of cake. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this green screen tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or email me at contact at charlesero.com. You can find that in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching my video and hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.